Uh, right, you guys that uh, uh, saw the last video where I just described how to make a tuna sandwich in a certain way so that it doesn't spill out everywhere. Uh, I'm going to use the ingredients this time to make it a bit easier for you to see. This is for you, Sof. Uh, uh, you were very interested in making this at home. Uh, it's not really a recipe, like I said last time. It's more of a, a technique. So I'll show you the ingredients first of all, and they are sweet corn. Yeah, I would get chunks because they're they're much more uh, chewy. There's cucumber. There's uh, pickled gherkins, and there's this uh, Italian style salad. You can have your own style of. Uh, uh, salad uh, in your own sandwich you know this is just particularly one I like and I found this uh, sweet corn in a carton it's very good uh, because you can restore it you know the tins they're not very good I don't think because you have to use it all as soon as you open it this one it opens up and uh, put fresh sweet corn in there in uh, in water and then you can just seal it up again like that I got that from Morrison's uh, I've not seen that for uh, sale before. Anyway, here's the gherkins chopped up, and there's the cucumber, and uh, some uh, some of the salad. And I've got onions there. You don't have to add onions. I don't think uh, onions particularly go with the tuna, but uh, you can try it. But uh, let's see how we get on. Anyway, now this is the baguette. Uh, I've got this from Morrison's, it's only 45p, it's just white bread and uh, what I do is I will cut it right down the center sideways and this is what I was talking about in the last video where you cut it and then it will just open up. Now I'm sure a lot of people know how to do this, it's nothing new but what I would do, I get a fork and See in the middle, see all the bread, I scrape that bread out, it's not very nutritious uh, that I'm aware of anyway, you're not losing much and it just hollows, it just hollows out and makes space for the ingredients. So I don't know if you can see on there, I don't know if I've set the camera up right, but there, you take the inside of the bread out and this will just make it a more practical sandwich instead of those ones that flow over with all the ingredients going about all over the floor while you're trying to eat it making an unholy mess and uh, and that that's the bread that's we're gonna chuck away you can feed it to the birds I wouldn't chuck it away you can feed it to the birds now I don't know if you can see it is hollowed out and what I'm going to do in in this part the base I'm going to put some sweet corn now that sweet corn will just fill in all that gap you know the space that we've made so you can see and it's barely taking up any space and this is so easy to do and just spread the uh, sweet corn. I don't know what this sweet corn's like. It's the first time I bought it. I'm hoping it's of decent quality. You know, you can use a green giant, of course you can. And now what I'm going to do, let me get the camera and show you. You see, and if you look at it from the side, there's hardly anything there. See, not taking up any space. It's like a little boat. Cucumber. Now, if you put cucumber, just flatten it out on top again it's not going to take up much space it's going to make a floor you know for all the other ingredients and that's that and as you can see it would close perfectly see no stress and there you go that's what it looks like there now you can put some uh, salad your own particular choice that's fine And that's what it looks like and again like I say you can close it tight and chop it in half and uh, you can save some for I, I mean I wouldn't be able to eat all that I would only have about half of that at most and it's a, it's a good snack and there's the tuna let's put the tuna in okay 
and their tuna chunks. And that can go on top. And I, I, I wouldn't like too much myself. Some people would prefer mostly tuna in the sandwich, but uh, I like more of the vegetables than anything. But uh, this was quite cheap, this tuna. I don't think it's the best quality, um, Morrison's own brand. Yeah. And uh, of course, some people have more uh, refined taste than me. I'm by no means a gastronomic type of person. And that's that. There's the tuna. Now, what I would do, if you can see, when you close that up, it quite easily closes up. And you're not eating uh, like a lot of bread, you know, it's not, it's, it's a sandwich that's not just bread, like some of those sandwiches you get from the uh, uh, shops. Uh, they're, they're kind of mostly bread around the edges, etc., etc. And uh, you don't want to be eating, and it keeps your carbohydrates to, uh, uh, down because, as you know, carbohydrates, they, they put weight on. And uh, now, if you like, you can put gherkins in. Yeah. Now I'm only going to put a few in. You might not like gherkins. You could put, uh, I don't know, pickled onions in there or beetroots. You know, and that would all go in there. And just to top it all off, you could put some salad cream in. You can put mayonnaise in there. Mayonnaise will go very well with it. And uh, I would just sprinkle it. I'm not going to put some on now because I'm not having some right now. It'll just make the sandwich go soggy. But uh, I would just cut this up in half and um, have one today, have one tomorrow. And uh, I think that's the best way to enjoy it. But there's other ways. If you know better, uh, let me know.